Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In our previous video, we have seen how we can add our reports and dashboard to the workspace. Uh, in this video, we will see how we can add users to the created workspace. That means how we can give access to specific user to the workspace that we have created. So let's go to the Power BI service and see how we can do that. So I am into Power BI service and if you can see below what we have done is what recent files or what recent uh, things we have done on our Power BI service will be reflecting here. So first of all, let's go to the workspace and see how many workspaces do we have. So we have two workspaces. One is our first Power BI report wherein we have our report that has been published and the other workspace is our test workspace. So there we haven't published any report yet. Okay. So uh, let's go back and let's go to the first Power BI report workspace that we have created. So we have two, uh, we have one report into it and one data set. Now what I want to do here is I want to give access to the entire workspace to other user. Now what I mean is other user to whomever I give access will have access to the reports and the data set that is associated to that report. Apart from this, there are various access that can be provided. So we will see in our further videos what are type of access that we can give to the report as well as to the workspace. So now let's see how we can give access to the workspace. So to do so, what we're going to do is we will go to our workspace and now whichever workspace access that we will have to give, just click on this more option and go to workspace access. Once you click on workspace access, you will see here how many people are added into this workspace. So here you will be able to see the person's name who is having access to this. Now I want to add another person. So to do so, what I will have to do is click on add people or groups, enter name or email ID for the people that you want to give access to. So let's take an example. I will add my own name and you see it gives me an option. So once I click on this option, what it says is add and the other one is viewer. So now what this workspace access you want to provide to other user. It should be admin access. It should be a member access. It should be a contributor access or a viewer access. Which access do you want to provide to the user? This is what you will be able to see it here. So for now, we will just give a user access. And what do you mean by user access or what is the difference between this access? We will see in our coming videos. Now, Let's give a viewer access. Viewer access, as the name itself suggests, the person to whom you are giving access will only be able to view this particular workspace. He won't be able to add any reports to this workspace. He won't be able to add or make any changes to the workspace because the person to whom you are giving access is only having a viewer access. Okay. So once you add the name of a person, just click on add. Now, once I click on add, it will add the person. However, in my case, it won't because I just have one email ID and I'm assigning it to my site. So I won't be able to do that. Just to check it, I'll click on add. So you can see it gives me an error, couldn't add so and so people. So let's click on back. So this is how you can, you know, add people to a workspace. Now, what if I want to give access to only reports and not to the workspace? So to do so, you have an option which says share. Just click on this option and enter an email ID of a person to whom you want to give the access. So let's take this again. Let's take my name. I will click on OK. Now you see people in your organization with the link can view and share so from here which access do you want to give to the people so people in your organization you want to give access to people with existing access who already who is already having access to this report you want to give them the access 
or you want to give access to specific people. So the choice completely depends on you. And the important part which comes is your settings. Now you see there are two options that are given here, which says allow recipients to share this report or allow recipient to build content with the data associated with this report. So this will totally depend on you. For now, what I want to do is I don't want to allow any recipient to share this report with anyone. So I'll just uncheck this and just click on apply. So once I click on apply, then you have an option which says send. Once I click on send, it says link to the first Power BI report has been sent to the user that you have selected. Okay, so let's close this. Let's go to this three dots and let's open manage permissions. Now you see the link has been sent to this particular creator and the access that I have provided to this user is only a read access. Okay. If you see the second option which says direct access, direct access is a person who has created this report and published on the workspace. So which access and which permissions is having, you will be able to see it here. Okay. Then you have pending. If someone is requested for this, someone has requested for this report access, it will show in pending. And shared views is basically, if you, uh, you know, share any link, if there are any changes to your report and you have shared an updated link, then you will be able to see that changes in this particular tab. Okay. So this is how you will be able to go and give access to the workspace as well as to the report. Now, instead of this read permission, let's see, I want to have access as a contributor or, uh, you know, admin access. So how we can do that? So let me again go back to the workspace. Let me click on share. Uh, let me go this and select all the options. Click on apply. And let me enter the name to whom I want to give this access. Click on send. So now the link has been sent. Just close this. Go to this option and select manage permission. Now you see there are two things that had happened. First is with your very first report that was having only read, of, uh, read access. Now I have a read access as well as I can reshare this report as well as I can build this report. So basically I have the admin access to view, change or build this report from scratch along with the data set. Okay. If I want to delete or if I want to manage access, I can do it from here also. I can just go and say, I don't want to allow a recipient to build this content with the data set. I'll just uncheck and click on save. So you see, I just have a read access and a reshare access. Okay. That means I can just review that report and I can just go and reshare. This is how you can add a user to a workspace. And this is how you can add users to the created Power BI report in Power BI services. So that's all in today's video. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.